Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. It's Thursday, it's 9 p.m., it's Eastern. That means, that sounds like I said it's Easter. But guess what, it is Easter, folks, and your surprise present, basket full of goodies. We're playing Fall Guys. Uh, we enjoy this game so much that I've actually been playing it off stream, which is kind of rare for, rare for some of our stream games. Um, but I'm excited to play some more, especially with William Yosef, it's Chris Burst. How you doing, buddy? Am I on? Yeah. Hello. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm doing good. Let me just take How you off you? real quick. Okay. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> folks. You had to see that. <laughs> and he's back. Um, How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Hi, anime girl. Hi, anime girl. You know, it's been a couple of years. Been a couple it's been years. Ten years. Anime girl, I have a question for you. Um, are any of your Arma missions on the workshop? Because I was trying to find them the other day. We have a an internal. Hours, our eyes only list of missions we want to run eventually in Arma 3. And uh, I was going to add yours to yeah, them. Yeah, we want to make sure yours are excluded wholesale. <laughs> yes, that's right. We just didn't want to stumble upon them. Uh, okay, let me accept this invitation. Invitation. Ooh, you're looking good. You know what? Sorry, let me check the shop real quick. Yeah, I just bought these gloves and thing. Yeah. I realized I had 9,000 coins. <laughs> Yeah, so so I think everybody who's played in the last couple of weeks um, got a whole bunch of coins today as like an apology for their server issues. Oh, really? Yeah, they were having some bad server issues for the first couple of days. I didn't remember when how many I had after I won. So. Um, so first things first, I wanted to talk about some Arma because guess what I found, Will? I think we've talked about this before. <laughs> uh, you found your favorite arma mission no i found cup called community i think it stands for community units project and it's basically people ripped the assets from arma 1 and arma 2 and all the dlc and made them available in arma 3 oh i like that because if you remember arma 3 is near future so like they don't have m16s they don't have humvees but now i have them so Whoa. the other thing i did that to me? yeah so the other thing I did was I downloaded the entirety of the, I think it's called the Afghan War Diary, the Afghan War Project, which is the WikiLeaks compilation of uh, leaked after action reports from Afghanistan. Wow. And we've talked about this before. Somebody did it for Arma 2. I can't find them. So I'm going to do it for Arma 3. I'm going to start making small missions. These missions are only be like 20, 30 minutes each, but they're recreations of actual after action reports from Afghanistan. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be some real good stuff. Um, I think you should give one to Zach and I to do. Yeah, yeah, I can totally do that because these are gonna be like, like most of them are just like some of them are very short. They're just like engaged enemy, three enemy KIA, no no allied hits, you know things like that. Yeah. But then there's other ones that are longer. There's other ones that are that are like murder mysteries in a way because they're just like. The category is assassination, but it's just like enemy took out this guy in his house, middle of the night, showed up, found no cash, no weapons, not sure why he's dead. Jeez. So I, I, I almost want to play one of those as the Taliban. Oh yeah, Anime Girls is volunteering as well. That would be exciting. Oh yeah, you should totally. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun to do that. We're definitely still gonna play some missions, and I'm telling you right now. Noon Eastern on Saturday is our next Arma 3 stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of exciting stuff. I'm really getting into the game. I'm having difficulty flying helicopters, though, which is really troubling. They're tough. Zach's always good at flying helicopters. They're very realistic in Arma, which makes it, like, impossible to land. Because you have to, like, do the, like, tilt back. You're controlling, like, literally three dimensions of movement and velocity. Are they like uh, GTA 4 helicopters? <laughs> the worst things to fly ever. A little bit. A little bit, yeah, where you can't really keep them steady. Yeah. But it's it's more about like learning how to scrub the speed and the horizontal movement when you want to land, but without doing either too much or too little. Um, I got you. The other thing I found pretty exciting is, do you remember the game Take On Helicopters? take on no i don't so that was made by 
It was made by Bohemia Interactive, I believe after Arma 2. They basically took their helicopter model from Arma 2 and made a like helicopter simulator game called Take On Helicopters. Turns out they made an, like a 61 by 61 kilometer square kilometer. No, sorry, it's not. It's 61 kilometers by 61 kilometer map of Seattle. And somebody took that map and put it in Arma 3. Oh. Um, it doesn't look great on the ground because it's not really made for looking at it from the ground, but it has a lot of the like, a lot of the skyscrapers I recognize from being there just a little less than a year ago. It has like both sides of the Puget Sound. So I'm tempted to make a mission there where we're like rolling around in a helicopter and there's like an invading army and we're like taking them out with anti-tank weapons and stuff. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Um, Man, I'm like drumming up ideas in my brain hole about mission making missions now. Yeah. Anime Girl says they're working on models for my models for their Operation Zeus mission. That sounds like fun. Ooh. Making custom models. That's exciting. I'm into it. It's good stuff. That's exciting. I'm excited for more Arma. Yeah, me too. I'm also excited for Fall Guys. <laughs> oh, probably hit ready. <laughs> It's, it's been about four or five minutes. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just waiting for oh, that really? moment. I honestly, uh, <laughs> I've been looking through the, I like two minutes ago, I stopped customizing my character. Or not two minutes, like 30 seconds. Ago. Oh, okay. I was um, waiting for you to say you want to start. <laughs> I, I'm really excited for, for Arma. We should stop talking about it shortly because we're talking about yeah. Fall Guys, but... I'm very surprised how much I've gotten into that game, and it, all it took all along was just playing it. I will say, I will say two words though, no, three words. Something that I found is very well established, and there are entire clans dedicated to it. Arma Three, Star Wars mod. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. Complete mod, models, weapons, vehicles. People play it all the time. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say Milsim. No. They also have a Halo one, but I don't think it's quite as good or as robust yeah, as the Halo one. I've seen the ODST stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, now, oh, Star Wars. i got to look into that now. Um, it's, it's so big that I found somebody on TikTok who's part of that clan. And so a lot of their <laughs> content is just doing TikToks from their missions. That's awesome. Um, they had one today where... where <laughs> Where they were in a in a transport, like a clone trooper transport, and oh. they they came under AA fire, and their whole squad was in the back, and the pilot, um, the pilot tried to pull an evasive maneuver, but he pulled it too like too intense, and he blacked out, and the transport just went into the ground. <laughs> Which I didn't is, know you could black out. Oh yeah, if you start pulling like four or five Gs, man. No, I just no, I didn't know Arma model. Oh that. yeah. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. Um, but speaking of Arma, how you? Uh, I noticed you were playing Fall Guys before we started the stream. How you been? How you been liking Fall Guys? It's good. I I haven't played much, um, off stream just because I've been playing so many other games. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. It's 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 a fun game and it controls really well. I feel like yeah, when I mess up, it's my fault. Yes. Uh, yes. And I think it's I think it has just enough luck in it to, to make me feel like I have a shot at winning. You know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of games like PUBG where luck is less of a, uh, not, not against, nothing against PUBG, but luck, luck plays a much smaller role in PUBG. So mm -hmm. it, there's really definitely a hill to climb to get to your first chicken dinner. Um, but yeah, I've been playing it a little bit. I, I think it's a pretty good podcast game. It's also a great stream game when we have things to talk about. And we just want to play yes. the game for the stream. You know, we weren't sure what we we're going to do tonight. I said, let's just play some Fall Guys and talk. You know, you and me. Um, the other thing we need to talk about. Oh, can I bring up Arma one, one more time? Yeah. So I, was, I, was telling, uh, I was telling my buddy Chris about it today. Who I still man I'm meaning to get him on the stream sometime. But I was yeah. like, it's like, oh, how was the Arma stream? I was like, oh, it's good. It's like... It's going really well, and we're like trying to learn how to like be very military about it because that was kind of the point of it. I was like, but sometimes I just want to scream at Ian. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
because you, you always apologize at the end of the stream because I, I you're not doing it on purpose you're doing it to like well, we're trying to get better at it yeah <laughs> it's like there's times where i'm just like i have to tell myself that and not just be like i want to kill you i i am definitely I very aggressive about it I, I will admit to that if people watch the stream it's just like when i when you're like which target and i was like the ones that shot first and you were like will you have to t i was like yeah I'm gonna kill that that was admittedly me being deliberate but i was just like i i know what you're talking about but that's not good enough buddy <laughs> you so know good. that whole end part made me so mad because i th two or three times i hit those mines that zach dropped yeah just trying to get in position to help you guys out and then it was like, Will, where are you? And I'm like, I'm walking back because I stepped on another stupid mine. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Anyways, we, we can move on. I just had to I had to say that bit. Um oh, no. I I'm I'm, oh. I'm half tempted to this this admittedly, this will definitely make me um sound like an asshole, but I, I'm half tempted to go back and watch some of the stream just to see the mistakes you're making. <laughs> not, not in an asshole way, but just to be like, hey, I, I noticed you're not really using cover. Or like, hey, you, you should be leaning around cover instead of coming out of cover. You know, things like that that you could possibly be doing. And that's why you're dying so much. Um, should I do that? No, you no, should not do that. I shouldn't. I'll be so mad. <laughs> the other thing I was going to do is I was going to send, I found like literally, it's a web page. The printed equivalent is probably like 30 to 40 pages of just this guy being like, here's how to play arma but it's not like these are the controls it's just like hey it's like hey whenever you stop take a knee you should never be standing out in the open and then it's things like if if you're being shot at but you're behind cover you should be happy because it because even though you're getting shot at and they have you located you're not getting hit so don't feel like you need to peek out of cover just to see where the enemy is especially if they're actively yeah. shooting at you so it's a lot of stuff like that and like how you need yeah, to cover I'll... cover your sectors that type of stuff that stuff's helpful to me. Okay. Watermelon, uh, apple. Watermelon, apple, apple, apple. I think I figured this game out, so it's kind of easy now. Uh, Zach said, we should just, should we just play Arma? I assume <laughs> that's when you said, we'll stop talking about Arma. I know. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, that guy almost pushed me off. What the heck? I kind of want to... I want to get better at being mean in this game. Oh, uh, like watermelon. grabbing people? Yeah. Watermelon, grape, cherry, apple. Watermelon, grape, cherry, apple. Watermelon, grape, cherry. Yeah, I want a four-way here. What is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey. I couldn't remember, but I tricked like three people because <laughs> I just stayed where I was. <laughs> oh, no, no. Cherry, grape, banana. Cherry, grape, banana, banana. Cherry, grape, banana, banana. Oh, the stream delay is Cherry, kind of grape, banana, orange. Cherry, grape, banana, watermelon, orange. Cherry, grape, banana, watermelon, orange. Whew. Uh, what fall guy number are you? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, let's see. 7,800. What's your name? What's your number? Uh, I, uh, I just got pushed off, so I don't remember. Oh, oh, you didn't make it? No, I, I, I tricked guys by accident. I just couldn't remember it. Oh. Uh, so you said 78? 7,800. 7,800. 7,800. Okay. To be clear, Will got our crown last time. We both made it to the final round. That was a tough final round. It was one tail, and it was like, what, seven people? Yeah. And you got it, man. You got it with like three seconds to go, didn't you? Or like 10 seconds? Yeah. Uh, it close. Was, my strategy was like cutting him off. Yeah. And he, it didn't quite work because he fell, but it like, he fell and we all dogpiled and I just grabbed it. Uh, worked well. Okay. I'm on you. 7,800. Oh, no. I see one guy from yellow already running down here to screw us and a guy from red. There's a guy from red. No, don't grab me. Ooh. Okay, push it. 
We just gotta get everybody on it to push it past the blockers. Oh no, I hate that. Yes. Yeah. Nailed it. Where's yellow? <laughs> gotcha. Nice. Heck yeah. Denial service. I'm glad this game is blown up. I, I just, I feel like $20 is the perfect price point for it. Yeah. Because it doesn't quite have a lot of games. They say 25 games, but there's only like, what, two or three final games that they'll use. So because you can't, because they're not pulling from all 25 games for all rounds, some of them definitely start to feel a little. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, this one. Whew. I saw a good strat from somebody, which is basically if you jump from tile to tile, then it takes you longer to go through the tiles. Yeah. I remember seeing that in the beta and being like, oh, oh that is smart. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, no. There you are. Oh, no. Yeah, You're see, that guy's it. jumping. Yeah, stay with him. Ah! Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No. That's the worst is when you fall too level. Ah! <laughs> no. No. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, yeah. Outer perimeter. You know, actually, I don't think I want to be outer perimeter because then people can cut oh. me off more easily. True. To make other people fall. Oh, nice cut back. Yeah, I thought that was key. This is not going to end well. Oh, you could make it. Ah! Oh! No! I was... I was top four. Were, yeah. Top four. Oh, wow. I, still alive. I really hope. So have you come across any cheaters in this game? No. So I had one the other day where it was this was the final one, and there was a guy at the top of the map, just floating at the top of the map. Oh, and, that's and he dumb. won. Yeah. I feel like I was doing pretty good that round. It was just the double falls that really got me. Yeah. Oh, this guy just you screwed yourself, dude. What a right into that. dangle hopper. You done goofed it, boy. Baseball pants, boy. That's cute. We need to talk about William Yosef Fitzcrispers. We need to talk about how Halo Infinite got delayed to 2021. Yeah, that's cray cray. I, on the one hand, I love their letter and I love that they're taking the feedback they got from the recent trailer. And they're saying, you know what? Maybe it's not good enough. Maybe we need to put more work in, and we're not going to be able to do that without a massive amount of crunch, which they addressed. They said, basically, we're not going to be able to do this and have a healthy work schedule. Um, mm -hmm. So I love that they did that. But I'm very concerned for the Xbox Series X now because they don't really have exclusive Series X. Or, I, don't even, I just want to say, like, a big Xbox exclusive launch title now. Yeah. They just but, don't. What, what does Sony have? Sony has, uh, was Ratchet and Clank? Is that a launch? I can't remember. The I only one I know that's close to launch, I believe, is Miles Morales. Yes. But that's not a full-fledged game. That's true. Um, they, they have the Astro, Astro Bot. I think that's a packet yeah. with the console. So, I, yeah, that's a, true, that's a good point. And I think it's just, man, that's a big first-party exclusive. And I don't Although, think... I'm, I, I, Oh, man. Oh. I saw Phil Spencer say they delayed it also in part because it was they were thinking of releasing it in parts. Yeah. And so now they're delaying it to not do that. But I was kind of thinking if they released idea. the Xbox One X and it came out with Halo Infinite multiplayer, I'd actually be into that. Yeah. Well, I don't really care about the multiplayer, but I think that's that's better than nothing. Yeah. But if they were like, here's multiplayer... And campaign here's... later yeah, yeah. but I, I understand oh no sorry but thing... it was it was the opposite the rumor was the opposite that multiplayer wasn't ready yet oh really i thought it was campaign wasn't yeah ready. so it was going to be like it was going to be like um red dead did that right and gta 5 did that where it yeah. was campaign first and then it was um, uh multiplayer like two three weeks later i can't believe i fell 
never fall here. Um, I, I just, right now, I'm not getting a Series X at launch. Because... Yeah, I'm not getting either at launch now. Yeah, definitely not the PS5. I don't think there's enough at launch to justify it. The Series X was more like, there's a little bit to justify it, plus it, it's just nice to have. Oh, I was eliminated on the checkerboard. Oh, that it's just nice to have, like, the best 4K console that I'm that I can continue yeah. to play Game Pass games on. But if there's not really that big push, which was Halo Infinite in 4K, you know, was it 4K 60 or 4K 120? I think it was 4K 120 they said for Halo Infinite. Yeah. Then it's just, I don't see the point now. So that's, but they did tease that there's big Game Pass news coming soon. So I wonder, I yeah, wonder what that I, is. I, I was telling uh, my buddy at work, uh, I was like, you know what? Right now, I'm telling myself I'm probably not going to get Xbox One X, but I know I'm going to wake up either the day of pre-orders or the day it comes out, and I'm going to just be like, you know what? F it. I'm going to walk down and buy it. Yeah. Like, might as well. Like, because that's what I always do. That's what I did with the Switch. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so the other thing about the Series X while we're talking launch, number one, the uh, controller leaked, and the mm -hmm. I don't want to say it leaked, but retail versions of it got out in the wild. And on the box, it says for Xbox One and for Xbox Series S slash X, which all but yep. confirms that there will be a lighter uh, version of the Series X called the Series S. Um, but there was something else as well. Yes, there was. One of the people who had that box, the shipping box, read on it. It said, do not, or do not open for sale before, I believe it was November 6th. Yes, street dates. So, I don't know if that was hard confirmed, like that that was an actual yeah, solid retail leak, but that makes sense. That's the Friday before Extra Life. They, they typically launch, uh, November 22nd was the Xbox 360 launch. I don't remember when the Xbox One was. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely November makes sense, and they said November. After they delayed Halo Infinite, they came out and they said, when Series X launches this November, it's just that's pretty early in November, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, the only reason I can think to pick up one now. That's is only three just months to away. That, yeah, that too. But that's the other thing uh, Chris was saying at work. He was like, he's like, you're telling me within 90 days, I they're going to announce a price and I'm going to possibly pre order this thing. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not that cra that's crazy. That's crazy for, for consoles, but it's not that crazy if you think about iPhones like don't they announce no, that announce true. price and drop it within like two weeks Isn't yeah it like a it's very a great uh, I think Jeff Grubb he has that like list of things yeah. that are gonna happen and he added uh, uh, Thanksgiving Day family sit silently around the dinner table <laughs> waiting for Sony and Microsoft to say the price I know <laughs> um, I lost it. I just I just really when hearing your friends say that just really put into perspective go for which one are you going for goober Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, I don't know how we missed that. I hate this one. So by I, the way. I think I might get one still just for like all the console upgrades and like speed upgrades, and I can run games faster and blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. I I do love the idea of in three months we will have a console that's capable of of four K one twenty as like as yeah. like a default. Well, four K sixty as a default. That's fantastic. That's next yeah. gen. And stuff. just to like really take advantage of my tv and I, i'm like I, I have the like i have money saved up for it already yeah so it's not like i'm being relieved i don't have to buy it like i'm not gonna get a ps5 right away um because i don't i don't have any reason to buy it like if demon souls was a launch game i would consider it but i'm also not like i i was i'm not a anybody fanboy anymore really but i was such an xbox fanboy yeah that it's just like my heart goes to that one so yeah kind of no, i hear you oh no I this like camera that guy the camera really screwed oh, yeah me. the camera is tough at the edges yeah I also like that it. pigeon is inside the block oh good one. Oh no i don't think we're gonna make this this is the worst game by far yeah yes i don't like this one. Oh, i can't believe you nailed that i saw the shadow come down from the sky i'm not going for that that's not ours. That's not ours either. 54 like red. Computer run a little hot. Um, the, the other thing is, 
I'm not. There's rumors September 1st they are going to. Oh, come on. There's two of them there. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I have to. I have to go up top, but I ain't got time yeah, for that. Oh. Um, there's rumors September 1st is when NVIDIA is going to announce the 3080 Ti and the 3080. Or the 3080 or the 3080 Titan. But long yeah. story short, new graphics cards, I will be buying one. So I, I know already that I'm going to be dropping. I'm probably going to be dropping between like $800 and $1,000 on a graphics card yeah. within the next two months. Um, I need to I do I got it. my 2070, so I'm... I'm yeah. set for well. You got your 2070 years. super, super. So, yeah. so you're set, yeah. But I'm a, I'm on a regular 1080. Well, it's a slightly overclocked 1080, and it's fine. But I'm trying to run 4K. It's doing a lot of streaming stuff, and I use my PC so much that I'm just like, it's worth it for me to. Uh... Yeah, I agree. Okay, sorry. It took me a little bit to get out of that game. Um, so at that point, it's like, why drop 500 for? A 4k console that's really it's going to do 4k 60 compared to my xbox series x which is basically doing either 4k or up res 4k 30 yeah and there's no real game difference so yeah and ps5 i mean i'll get ps5 maybe in a year when they have enough exclusives for me to care because they just yeah don't. they just don't that's, that's really my thought on it like i didn't get a ps4 until a while in mm -hmm. because i was like it's same with like ps3 i bought after the ps4 came out because i was like i can just play all these exclusives that came out on it yeah um i i think i'll also wait a little bit until the the multi-platform games or multi-generation games start to have a huge difference which I, I guess we'll see at launch we'll see how valhalla runs on an Xbox One X versus a Series X slash PS5, you That's know, but true. but it's it's typically like a it's typically like a year before that difference gets big enough. At least that's what it felt like with the uh, 360 to Xbox One. Oh no, this was a terrible idea. Oh, I didn't fall. That's incredible. Um, yeah, I just don't play a lot of Sony exclusives. Oh, I just. I died. I just don't really like their general game design for the, a lot of their exclusives nowadays, like God of War, Naughty Dog. Even Tsushima felt like a bit of a letdown. Not that it was bad. Yeah. My problem with Tsushima right now is I, I, I can only play it on the weekends because I need to like sit down for a couple hours. Because I like to like soak myself into it and not, like, I can't play it for just like half an hour. Yeah. I don't mean to jinx it, but I'm in first place right now. I'm pretty sure I'm good to go. Woo! Woo! That's a first, baby! Uh, what's um, your number? Uh, uh, 25 something? 29 five? Okay. You're, you're wearing like 20, the yeah. boxing hat, boxing gloves, and yeah. the broken egg, number. yellow, pink. I got you. Yes. Doing good? Thanks. It, I. I botched the early game. I, I got out ahead early, which really helped because then it was basically me and one guy behind me controlling the platforms. So we didn't have to deal with the crowd messing things up. Oh, no. oh you can make that. Yeah. Look at that guy. Do a hot dog. Boom. Oh. Hot um, dog. Oh, look, they're holding hands. Yeah, so, so I think, you know, if you're getting a Series X, I, I don't think one of us needs to, but... If it is that release date, that is the day before Extra Life. So it would be cool to do like a Series X unboxing section on Extra Life. But again, we don't have to do that. I'm not going to force anybody yeah. to buy a console just because of that, especially when the console launch looks weak like that. So Yeah, I, and we can discuss that too because my thought was also it's coming out right before Extra Life. I can just chuck that thing full of all and like run most of my, a lot of the games I might be playing off of it too. Exactly, yeah. It's just, it's so weird because like, like Halo Infinite being delayed is such a huge blow to the Xbox Series X launch. But at the same time, when I think about it, and you know what, I'm really thinking about it. I think the Xbox Series X, because of Game Pass and because of all the backwards compatibility, is also the strongest 
console launch in history because it's yeah. it's just so backwards thinking to me to think of I buy a console and I buy a console and I have to get new controllers for it and mm-hmm. I have to buy new games for it and that hasn't always been the case but it's generally the case but I think the yeah. Series X is the first time that it's like no I don't have to buy new games for it because I already have subscription and the backwards compatibility and my controllers already work which admittedly is not a big next-gen jump, but at the same time, that is a very compelling reason. Yeah, and that's the main thing. It's like, oh, I can experience everything, pretty much everything in my current library I can experience on yes. the Xbox Series well, X library. Even just even just kids. You know, if, if you got a kid and you're buying a console and he says, you know, he doesn't have an Xbox One, but he wants a Series X and you're like, how much is it gonna cost me? And you look at it you're like, $500. And then you're like, wait, it comes with a controller. You know, we can buy the older controllers for them to work. All we have to pay is five bucks a month or 15 bucks a month for the ultimate. And we get online and all these games, which is just Netflix for games. And it's like, oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense compared to the PS5, which is let's say 500 bucks plus extra controllers, plus the individual games. Um, so it's just weird. It's like they don't have a compelling, it's not compelling for hardcore gamers who are all concerned about exclusives because they've already played current gen games. But if you're yeah. less of a hardcore gamer or you're buying for somebody who wants to be a gamer, that Series X is a very compelling deal. Um, does everything that runs ah. on an Xbox One will run on an Xbox Series X? Um, you just have to pay if, for some things if you wanted to like upgrade to the Series X version. Yes, I, I believe that that is what they've said. So basically, so everything like, yeah, everything that runs on an Xbox One will yeah. run. So in, in the in the uh, my example is going to be Control. They announced that if you want to get the upgrade for free, you just have to buy the new Ultimate Edition of the game. Yes, but, but if the current I already version own will Control run Control on Xbox One, that version will just run. Yes, that's correct. That's okay. I like that. Yeah. Because I, you, you know this, I play so many older games and I have such a robust library that the yes. fact that like a PC, it just carries over and it'll, even if there's no upgrade, it's just, I'm used to that because that's like, I run old Windows XP games. I'm not assuming they're going to look better necessarily. Yeah. Um, so I like that. I like that approach. I like it way better than the Xbox One's hook your TV up to it approach. Yeah. Um, it's also um, Sony. Sony says that that I forget what the phrase is. Something along the lines of like the best hits of the PS4 will run on the PS5. But it's not all PS4 games. They have not clarified yeah. that list. Other than I think the Spider-Man top, was the only one they said definitively. The Mark Cerny said the top 100 in that thing, and then they clarified it was the top 200. Sony well, games? Well, no, sorry. And sorry. People... I, don't, I don't think it was that they clarified top 200. They just said it, he means including some of the top 100, as in, like, people yeah. took 100 as a number, and they were saying, no, that's not the number. He's just saying. Yeah, so they some people included. took it like, oh, these are the most played. Uh, like, some articles took it as the most played, top 100 most played PS4 games. Yeah. And what made me think of it was when you were saying you wanted to get a ps5 to play bloodborne on and i was like man i want them just to be like oh yeah from software didn't want to do the work to port yeah uh bloodborne over so it's not going to be on it exactly and it sounds like i i think i did read that they have to do that work whereas with xbox they don't have to do that work and it's similar to cloud x to to x cloud where they said they were showing up at developers and being like do you want your game on xCloud? Look, it's already working on our internal build. You just have to say yes. Like, you don't have to do any port work. It's just working. And, and yeah. I believe there's an article saying it's the same for Series X, where it's just it's just going to work. It's true backwards compatibility. Yeah, they were saying PS5, which some people are taking this as alarmist, but it's more same with the PS4. You just have to, it's a new system. So, like, a year into the console, people aren't going to have any issues. But the first, like, year, a lot of, third-party games are going to have weird stuff because they have to figure out how to overcome a thing on yeah like the ps4 i also i just think it's bs that they're not supporting the ps4 controller on the ps5 yeah 
uh, it's people just, being it's like, crap. oh, it's it's so um, oh, what did he like? It's it's the typical or something. Twitter. He's like, oh, it's because they really want the dual sense to be a thing, not like the novelty of the touchpad. And I was like, the novelty of the touchpad, it was bad because nobody used it. It wasn't yeah. bad because you could, you can't use PS3 controllers on a PS4. Like, yeah. that wasn't, it's, oh, it's so stupid. Oh, no. Oh, that went right in. Oh, well, we scored right before. Okay. Um, Sorry, op Anime Girl saying Operation Zeus Awakening, the Operation Before Fire. So if you like, hun, I can DM you images of that stuff I'm adding. Yeah, you can DM me stuff. You can post it also in the, the, um thing if you want or you can dm ian who's think gibson on the community yeah. subreddit uh if you want him to look at him and describe him during the stream uh, yeah, yeah towards the end if you finish that mission we will yeah totally at our best effort play your mission with you as zeus Ian, you should be happy daisy exists because it was during that stream that i came up with the armor stream idea that's true so. that's true it's um, the only good thing daisy's given us <laughs> It's one other thing I was going to say about the Series X. Yeah, it just it just feels a lot like it feels like old money versus young blood. Like that that story doesn't really line up perfectly, but Xbox is the underdog because of mistakes they made at the start of the current generation and mistakes they continue to make during the generation. But they are looking forward. They are trying to change gaming for the better with, you know, Game Pass with the um the, the iterative console half steps that are actually a big leap in tech. The the payment model for Xbox One, which was such a cool idea where it's like you paid, what, 25 bucks a month and you got an Xbox One and Game Pass Ultimate. And it was yeah. just an easy way for people who weren't making a lot of money to get in. And I, I don't even think they were losing a lot of money by doing that. Oh, no. I'm so far ahead. I watched a guy do a really good tactic with this, which was just freaking diving. And he just dove across all the tiles because they have. Oh to be yeah. Here. Oh, I did it. Oh, I watched you do it. Oh that was no, incredible. I missed it. I missed the very final one. You got to be kidding me. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, we. <laughs> Dang it. That's why I Stumble hate. chums. I, I just. I got. hate being out front for that one. But yeah, I, I'm the one that found the pathway, and I dove at the end, and I missed. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so it just it just feels a lot like Sony is saying, new console, no, your old games won't really work. Maybe some of them will. No, your old, uh, your old um, controller won't work. No, we're not really going to do a whole lot with PS Now to support it like Game Pass. Yeah. Um, so, you know, no, this is a big generational leap, and you're just going to have to deal with it. And they have the games to back that. At least they have the PS4 games exclusives to back that going into the PS5. But it's just weird that on the controller decision, they look at Microsoft, and Microsoft is making the smart, forward-facing decision of saying, no, there's no reason why your Xbox One controllers can't work with the Series X. They will work with it. And Sony turns around and says, no, we're not going to do that. 100% the wrong decision. Yeah, it's... It's just so like, weird. man. Yeah. So... It's going to be really interesting. Uh, I think literally the only thing Sony, that Microsoft has to do, I feel like Microsoft is way ahead of Sony right now. And what I mean by right now is not necessarily for this launch, not even necessarily in the next year, but they are, they are winning the next generation as far as I'm concerned because of Game Pass mm -hmm. and because they have arguably the stronger console and they have better, better plans for it, better support for it, et cetera. But I think... The thing that they're not doing well enough is getting those exclusives, and that's why Halo Infinite was such a was such a hurt because it was just like, you know, that's what you needed. That's that's guys. That's what you needed. You know. Yeah, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like Xbox has been smart, like because they're really ramping up by acquiring a lot of studios. Yeah. But it's just strange that. Oh come on. Um, it's just strange that Sony isn't Ugh. at least trying to do some no. sort of thing that can make this whole thing better. Oh, get me there. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's just weird to see them stick to their guns so much. I feel like they got forced into backwards compatibility and they're, they're, they're a little oh. angry about it. 
Yeah, and I guess we'll do some PS4. Just like, yeah, I guess we'll do it. Because they, they, they're not even doing PS3 or PS2 or PS1 games, which was like the great rumor before any of the announcements was like, they're adding all that backwards compatibility. And it's like, yes, do it. Even do it like, 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 like Xbox does, where it doesn't actually run off the disc, but the disc authorizes the download with the emulator. And then you've got yeah, it. Or like, like, there's so many ways, like, it could, if it's about money, like, I don't understand why they wouldn't even be like, hey, you can buy access to being able to play PS3 games or PS2 games or PS1 games. Yeah. Like, it's not something people would like, but it's a way Sony could easily make money out of all that. Wait, what is this? I'm going to uh, play you this. You got to not get, don't get jinxed. Oh, is that, and there's one person who's jinxed? Yeah. I guess on the other team, there's somebody who's jinxed. So it's like yeah, tag. Right there. Uh, yeah, I just stay up here and then jump between these two things. But the camera kind of sucks oh, no. up there. Is it just one guy? Uh, I mean, the people who get infected can get you. Oh, okay. So it is like infection or zombie. Gotcha. Oh, no. But they, they have to, I think they have to grab you, not just touch you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that stupid piece of butt crap. I'm on the carousel and I seem to be okay. Man, you should like come stand behind me. But it looks like you're jinxed. Good idea. Oh, you weren't kidding, man. Being in that corner, it's tough. Ah, I got jinxed. Oh, hi. It's yeah, tough. It's like to a weird camera angle. It's tough to find the people who aren't jinxed. Come Aww. on. Ooh. Um. So, anyways, Series X. It's tough to see them lose Halo Infinite because I feel like they absolutely have the stronger next gen position. They're just they don't have the stronger next gen launch. I feel like both of them are failing this next gen launch. I just want to say something. Say it. A lot of journalists been crapping on E3, but you're a journalist. We don't care that you're a journalist and you get that premium content by having to slog through three days of E3. Boo-hoo, it sucks for you. But I tell you what, E3 is fantastic for the industry. Just look at the stupid schlog of all these mini press conferences, mealy mouth press releases and announcements, half information, half rumors, half denials. E3 is like, boom, give us your info right now because the next guy's going right after you. I, I can't believe it happened. It was just like fate of 2020 that it's also the year that it was console launches. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's, man, I I want E3 back. Because E3 was just like, yeah, there's a lot of information, but it dumped it on you. And if, if you held back in an E3 press conference and your opponent didn't, you looked like crap. So it, it forced yeah. them to come out as strongly as they could. And now that they have these press conferences or these, these little directs, these little videos, they're allowed to be as tepid as they want, and it's awful. Yeah. I, I wonder what Sony would have done this year. Like, would I, they have had a big event? I think I think they would have waited until after Microsoft's E3 event, and then they would have had... Actually, that's a good question. The smart thing would have been wait after Microsoft and then have a big state of play of everything. But yeah. given how they, they did it this year, they may not have. They may have just done the same thing, where they show the console, and they show a little gameplay, and then on Thanksgiving, they announce the price. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, um, we need to talk about Cyberpunk. Did you see any of that uh, Cyberpunk 2077... Nightwire. I watched I watched the like choose your background video. That was about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I didn't Which, watch any of it. Honestly just gave me anxiety. I I can't believe that game is so close. I'm very excited yeah, for it. Me too. Um yeah, it, it, the only problem was like I was like, am I gonna have to play this game three times? I was wow. like kind of oh. cause like each one seems so unique and like like the corporal <sighs> one it seemed like you started a corporation. Like, I just oh, don't want to miss really? out on that stuff. And so I was kind of like, oh, this is this is giving me like, yeah. a thing to do. Like, this is going to be tough. But uh, I, I'm still very excited for the game. Don't get yeah, me, me too. That's what? Is that September? No, no. it got delayed November. in November. Oh, that's right, because the date was like, oh, that sounds like a console launch date. But yeah, it may that's not the other reason, honestly, is I think... I would buy Cyberpunk on an Xbox Series X. But the thing is, it's a shooter. It's a first-person shooter. And I'm like, I want that on a keyboard mouse, you know? Yeah, that's true. I just, I get so weird about, uh, like, 
I don't know. I, I I'm always worried that the game's not going to be able to run as well on my computer, mm-hmm. even though I have a really good computer. Like I'd rather. There's something about sitting on the couch and playing a game that I enjoy a lot more than, like when it's a. You know the thing is though. It kind of depends. That game, uh, I if I'm not mistaken, I believe they said the next gen patch comes next year, or at least that's the last oh, they I said think on you it. Are right. Yeah. But if they're if they're pushing it that far back, then. Uh, again, I don't know how much work it's going to take, but they really should. If they're going to be launching after the next-gen consoles are out, they should be launching with next-gen support. Yeah, so maybe maybe I will... Uh, I'll have to look it up. Maybe I will just get it on PC. Um, and then the other thing is the one pseudo-launch title that Xbox Series X will have that I... I will definitely be playing, but I kind of want to play on a Series X, even though I don't think it's going to give me much. Come on! You, you out? got eliminated there, too? Yeah. God. Is Yakuza Like a Dragon. <gasps> yeah. I just, I really want to play that. I would, it's not a next-gen game, but I, like, the thing about getting a new console is you want to be, like, new console, new great game. And I would love for that to be my new great game. You know? That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's pretty much it. You know, I I think what'll really make me decide as far as Cyberpunk is whatever Digital Foundry video comes out, and they're like, "Yeah, this runs great on Xbox Series X," and the, all that sort of stuff. So, mm-hmm. or not Series X, Xbox One, One X. X. I mean, it could be a Series X at that point. Yeah, but it just won't be the next gen version. Yakuza. Okay, and, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that isn't that Game Pass at launch? I believe so. Oh man, but you know what? Honestly, I kind of I want to give them money. I kind of want to buy the sixty dollar. I may even buy like the eighty dollar. I I've been uh, I'm thinking of trying to pick up Judgment. Yeah, I I haven't just because. So I played Yakuza Kiwami shortly after I played Yakuza Zero, maybe like a year after, and I just Yakuza it's it's too similar, so it mm-hmm. it felt like overload, and I think Judgment's going to be the same. So I just I just never really got judgment yeah oh no wow oh made it oh i finally grabbed and pulled myself up oh no never been able to do that i've gotten much better at the propellers yeah. Um, oh, I didn't get better on that one. We also need to talk about Fortnite. Have you been following the Fortnite drama from yeah, today? That stuff was crazy. It's okay. So let me just do a recap for people watching the stream. Um, basically, Fortnite and Apple have been in a little tiff basically because Fortnite sells, you know, skins, they sell uh, V-Bucks, which is their currency, and all that stuff. Come on. They sell all of that through their app, but the problem is any in-app purchases made for a game on an iPhone, Apple takes a cut. I believe it's it's either a 20 or 30% cut. I think it's 30%. Yeah, it's 30. So if you buy $10 worth of V-Bucks for Fortnite, which is their... DLC microtransaction currency. Epic gets $7 and Apple gets $3. And Epic has been very clear. They're just like, this is a ridiculous cut. It's way too high. And they're giving preferential treatment to like, like there's there's certain other applications where you they don't take a cut. Like Grubhub, mm-hmm. they don't take a cut, etc. And there's Amazon other applications. Amazon, which came out this week through a congressional hearing, which was that they give Amazon preferential treatment. Amazon is only 15%. So if you're if you're renting movies through Amazon Video or Prime Video on your iPhone, Apple's only taking fifteen percent of that, not thirty percent, because they have a sweetheart but, deal. But even like the regular Amazon app, it's not like Amazon when you buy something no, on the I, app. I don't I don't think I don't think no the Amazon app you don't it doesn't take the cut. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh. They don't get anything. I know it's a slightly different situation, but still yeah. like you can extrapolate that out. Because Apple, Apple's distinction is basically if you are getting something within the app, like you are unlocking something within the app, or it is a movie or a digital item within the app itself, then we get a cut. Mm-hmm. 
Um, which honestly, it kind of makes sense, but basically Epic's been saying they're controlling this. They're giving sweetheart deals to other companies. It's way too big a cut. Um, so what they did this morning was they added to the Fortnite application, there's basically two options now. There is buy $10 worth of V-Bucks through Apple payment or buy $10 worth of V-Bucks for $7 through Epic Payment, which is the same payment service they use for the Epic Game Store. So basically they were saying, we're gonna get this, Epic is saying, we're gonna get the same amount either way, but you can pay us directly mm -hmm. the $7, or you can pay Apple the $10, let them take their cut, and we get our $7. Apple then turned around and took Fortnite off the App Store. <laughs> took it off the App Store. You could still play Fortnite, but they took it off the App Store. They said, violates it. Because the clause is, if you're doing one of these uh, digital purchases in your app, you are only allowed to use Apple Payment, which then mandates Apple Payment takes a 30% cut. And Epic so, was ready. Epic was ready. Because We're as soon as they did that, within ready. about 30 minutes, Apple, I mean, uh, Epic, announced, they filed a lawsuit, an antitrust lawsuit against Apple. And then they also um, announced, and then within like an hour, launched a, a trailer inside Fortnite, a little short movie it's like a two minute movie called um 1980 Fortnite. i mean it it's the it's the apple commercial but yes Fortnite. yes it's the it's, original what is that apple t or is yeah. that the lisa or is it the mac uh, i don't think it's the lisa i think it, i forget which one it is but yes yeah. it is crazy <laughs> um Oh, and yeah. they, they were just taking off Google, too. Yes, Google took them down, but they were okay with that because Google still lets you sideload APKs. And yeah. Apple does not. And by sideload, I mean you can get the application elsewhere and then load it. Oh, my goodness. Y'all is just letting me steal stuff. No. I want that one. Um... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool that they did that, but people were just like, hey, let's all root for this $17 billion underdog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean to hear that, but I think... I but who, Apple needs to be... Yeah, I, I forget who it was that had a good point, and they were like, you know, Epic is launching this fight not necessarily because they care about the money, but because they recognize what Apple's doing is wrong, and they have the resources to fight them. Yeah, because um, I bet they make a lot of money off of uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Go, dude, go. Oh, no. Somebody... <gasps> the cheating? yellow egg flew out. Yeah, is somebody cheating? Or is it just wonky physics? No, I think... I, 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 all oh, these no. eggs are floating. Oh, man. Everyone's, yes. like, zipping around. I'd see their server or hacker. Oh, oh, the eggs in the blue basket are going crazy. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. I want to bathe in it. Um, yeah, it's... I mean, I just like how prepared they were. Yeah, they had it all prepared. Like, they they, they set a trap. They set a trap. <laughs> and, and like My them, favorite thing. Them, them being removed from the App Store was just like, great, now we have perfect cause to file an antitrust lawsuit. <laughs> My favorite thing was uh, someone's like, uh, what, what's going... Uh, what the uh, Fortnite animator said. He goes, wait, we're doing what now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, um, I want to know, people who worked on that, was there a big, uh, like, non-disclosure, probably? Because you wouldn't want Apple to find out. Oh, well, they, they have a non-disclosure working for that company, period. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, Anime Girl's going to post some of the tanks that will be in the operation. I'm excited. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> awesome, do it. Do it. You won't. Yeah, I think you'll have to post them in the community Discord, and then I'll yes. I'll show them on stream because I don't think I don't think our Twitch chat will like the links. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, you know, I'm not a big Fortnite fan, but I I, I do like what Epic's been doing. I do like that they took that typical what was it was it twenty or thirty percent that Steam cut was, and they they basically said Epic Game Store is twelve percent. Yeah, and they, they, they mm -hmm. give a lot of stuff away. Yes, they do a lot of um, great 
indie stuff, indie game stuff. They do a lot of stuff that is good for the gaming community. Yeah. Did you get that Troy game? No. It's a saga got game, it right? It's free. I think so, yeah. I'm trying to remember. What is, what is I've the never saga? tried one of their other games. I, I heard Three Kingdoms was really good. Yeah, but but I, what I mean is it's total. It's a Total War Saga game, which I think is slightly different from their other Total Wars. I think it's slightly more arcadey. I think. Yeah. I can't um, remember. I just I saw people saying it's pretty good. So. Yeah. I played a lot of Rome and medieval Total War. Oh yeah, I, I really like Napoleon with the. Uh, no 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 no. The muskets and you would like set up squares against cavalry charges and the artillery. Oh, I really like yeah. that. I only played a little bit of the Mountain Blade uh, Napoleon one. Yeah, I don't think I really played it. Oh, did I what tell you what I, f I found something? I don't think we can play it. It seems a bit too intense and it's multiplayer only. It's basically Arma, but for the Civil War, for the American <laughs> Civil War. Yeah, I'm into that. Is it, dar is it uh, what, Dark Days Ahead? <laughs> What's that game? No, I think it's uh, called the like, time travel game. I think it's called like Blood and Honor. No, it's like... It's all servers full of people and they're like, line formation. <laughs> this it's, is awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I maybe we can, Civil maybe War we can look into it. Where you, you, a lot of people just didn't shoot other soldiers who were in the middle of going to the bathroom because there was like such <laughs> bad like dysentery and stuff. Oh, it was just yeah. like a, a rule. You wouldn't do it. Yeah. Which I always find funny. There's a great, uh, I don't know if it's Whitest Kids You Know. But it's uh, the Revolutionary War, and it's the British versus the Americans, and the British guy, he's just like, okay, we're going to send a volley of our bullets over there, and then you send a volley of your bullets over here. And so yeah. he's, like, explaining that, but the Americans shoot, like, four times. Oh. He's, like, he's like, no, no, you, we shoot, then you shoot. <laughs> like, trying to explain the ethics of it. Oh, uh, dang. I got to I got to find you cuz it resets every time. 7800. Yeah. Ah. Oh, careful. Yeah, I'm not doing great. I I went off the starting platform and there's a small drop and I fell down off of it. Oh, come on. There's a great gif of a guy getting like hit by every ball and he still gets to the top. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh. Maybe if they mess it up. They mess it up. Oh. War of Right or War of Rights, I think. War yeah, anime right. girls got it. War of rights. Because what happened was I, I think I looked up a couple things in Arma Three on YouTube, so now I just get a bunch of people doing missions. There's a lot of cool communities, and I, I stumbled into there's, there's a, I think it's called Find a Unit, is the subreddit, and it's just for yeah. Arma people. And there's actually a lot of, a lot of units recruiting, but the problem is, I need to find like a casual one that is not like you have to be there for every weekly mission or whatever. Yeah. That's the problem with those things is I always like commitment. I'm like, oh, uh, uh. yeah, I like, mean, I'm always uh, nervous about we're it. We're already pretty committed to subpixels, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I, I did find a couple that were just like, hey, join whenever you can. We're pretty casual as long as you're not like team killing, as long as you're like giving like, in not, an effort. I couldn't join them because I'm not qualified. But a lot of those like uh, dad ones are great because it's like, hey, we get you have kids in a life. Like, just yeah. play when you can. Like, those ones always seem good. I feel like... I feel like I need... I f Will, what if I... What if you had a baby? What if I pretended to have a kid? <gasps> so yes. that I could join yeah, a dad clan. Your cat. Your cat. <laughs> so that I could join a dad clan. I bet you could... I there bet we go, Zach folks. would let you use fake... Oh, these are two photos of him. So anime girl, correct me if I'm wrong, but you have custom modeled these tanks, right? They're pretty cool looking. Kind of like Sherman-esque. You see these, Will? I'm looking at the first one. Uh, I'm going there right now. Let me, um, Ooh. Let me open up this one. Um, by the way, oh. anime girl, your oh, message no. to me was adorable asking permission. Anime <laughs> girl, this tank reminds me of Gundam because Gundam has some crazy double barrel tanks as well. Excuse me. Where? Okay, here I am. Mega tank. Jeez, that look at that looks thing. Awesome. I'm so into it. We haven't done any tank missions, but we probably should. Oh, we should do tank missions. <gasps> I will. I forgot to tell you. 
I forgot to tell you. I figured out. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I just realized something. What did you do? I wasn't showing the screen. I'm sorry, guys. This is the mega tank. I, I changed it in OBS, but I didn't actually transition the scene. Look at this gorgeous double base. And it looks like it has like a six pack of rockets or eight pack of rockets on the side. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah, there's um, MS Igloo has an episode where they're in a giant tank and it's like a tank commander versus Gundams. Ian, do you, do you think there's a Metal Gear? In Arma? <gasps> I'm designing a Metal Gear mission. Is that okay? I'm doing that. Realistic I found, Metal I found Gear a mission, mission that was somebody who recreated the entirety of Metal Gear Solid 1 in Arma. <gasps> I'm doing that. I want to make a Shadow Moses mission where you, you have should... to go in by they like, do have... diving. There are oil rigs. Oh, I'm totally doing this. Oh, infiltrate Mother Base? Yeah. That's, oh, I'm doing it. Folks, that's my mission. Man, These are good. some cool looking tanks right here, baby. I it's love the tools a on the front. Mission. Yeah. <laughs> actually, he <laughs> should just like import the the relief map of Colorado. <laughs> yes, of Utah. <laughs> That's totally doable too. Um, uh, that'd be good. Let's keep. Should we, we feel like keep playing it? I feel like keep playing. Yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you want. Let's do it. Um, let's what I was going. gonna say before I rudely interrupted myself. God. Is that um. Arma 3, I figured out how to shoot the mortars without the artillery computer. The artillery computer is like the cheat mode. So mm -hmm. I think we should do a mission like that. I may, I don't know if I'm going to, I may have to build it. Where it's just like a mission where we're doing normal things, but halfway through we capture a mortar pit. And then I would stay behind in the mortar pit and you guys go ahead and then you call in mortars. Um... So basically the way it works is there's a table that somebody provided and it's like, hey, if you want to go 1,200 meters, then you need to go to this elevation. So then when you're aiming with the with the, um, with the the mortar, you can use page up, page down to change in the elevation. And then mm -hmm. so you basically need bearing and range. And then you fire. So the idea is I would do like, you would like ping it on the map. I would open up the map. I would draw a line and I would have to estimate the bearing and the range. And then oh. fire. And then you guys would have to be like, you know, 100 meters right. And I would have to adjust, try to adjust 100 meters right. Or like 100 meters drop, which means like do it 100 meters shorter. When when we order artillery art, uh, artillery now, yeah. is there, do you have to place it somewhere on the map for it to shoot or does it just come from heaven? So you can do either. You can do, well, no, sorry. It, it does come from somewhere and you can either do, um, they they call it an artillery like a support module or support provider and you could tie it to an artillery a piece of artillery so you can say like hey when i call on support it comes from this guy or uh, you can have it be virtual where it will spawn in the guy that you are using fire and then he despawns uh, so so it's it's a small distinction but it basically just makes it so that if you have your artillery it won't get messed up by the enemy if they come across it because it's only going to spawn in when you call in the artillery that's smart. Yeah. So, and and the other thing is it oh, it it so makes it a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about them. You don't have to like put them on hold fire so they don't accidentally engage other people while they're just sitting there waiting for your mission, things like that. Oh no! I forgot about the arm. Oh come on. Oh, I think I'm okay. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm right behind you. I'm trying to grab you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that would be, I think that would be fun. Because that's something that's really cool. Like, do you remember, I think Battlefield 1942 tried to do this, where you could f fire, somebody was in artillery on one side of the map, and the other people had to, like, get on the radio to tell them where they were actually hitting. And I love that idea. That's some good teamwork right there. Yeah, my my original like huge thought is we had enough people like we had actual like command people being like, I need you to move here and blah blah blah. Oh. Well you could just do a mission where it's like we're in a mortar pit and then command comes down, like they spawn enemy here and they're just like, Hey, destroy these guys and they like give you like Yeah. But the problem is you need somebody spotting with mortars. And my yeah. 
my whole thing was like the entire game we had one person who was just command on the radio or the entire game we had a guy in a helicopter off the coast who was just ready whenever we need him so it's like each person's not necessarily doing that exciting of a thing but mm -hmm. together the whole thing creates like a really cool yeah. thing so that's why i was thinking just, we could do like have to do something special i was thinking we could do it where there's like there's one person in a helicopter and they take the other two people to the mortar location and they take the other guy to the scout location and then the scout location is calling in targets the mortar guy is is dropping them and then the transport guy comes in when they're done and picks them up and takes them home mm -hmm. so you could totally have like a scout a helicopter pilot and a mortar guy uh, that's totally doable you're still in right yeah because part of what I wanted to do for the Seattle mission was they have the skyscrapers, but, like, the ground level is not that great. And there's a lot of stuff that, like, you can't really walk through, even though it looks like you should. Like, it's not meant for infantry. But I was just thinking about having, like, there's a whole bunch of enemy coming towards you. There's a helicopter. Like, you get in a helicopter, you go to the top of a skyscraper, and you attack these guys. And then you go to a different part of the city, like, near the Space Needle, and you attack guys. So it's like you're, you're using a helicopter and you're like a quick reaction force. So you're going to these different AI battles and like landing a decisive blow. That's not bad. Like you're sniping from the rooftop. You see boats coming in from the Puget Sound, so you're launching anti-tank. It'd be like a, I think I saw a Red Dawn one. Oh man, Red Dawn. I, apparently it's the anniversary today, that movie coming out, the I original. Seen it. It's really, really, really good. It's what actually you, oh. very, it's like kind of, it's pretty realistic, honestly. Oh, there's really? this whole scene, this isn't spoiling, I think there's this whole scene where this army guy is talking to the kids, and the kids by this point are like already pretty good at shooting, and he's like, all right, we're going to set up an ambush, we're going to move in here, and you two are going to come over here, and you're going to try and flank the enemy, and then we're going to put down a defilade of fire and suppress them here, and they're like looking at him, and he's like, what? And they're like, what does flank mean? And he's like, how have you kids survived? And they're like, well, we just surprise them and shoot them. And he goes, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a real good movie. Um, we watched oh, no. uh, Escape from New York. The movie's oh, great. Yeah, <laughs> so, I need to rewatch it. It's so weird, but so it's great. Bad. It, but I just, ugh, John Carpenter's great. I'm going to watch. Uh, honestly, it just made me want to watch The Thing. I'm gonna, I need to rewatch uh, Escape from L.A. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen Escape from L.A. I I've never seen Escape from L.A. That was the first time I saw Escape from New York. And um, Lockdown isn't a great film, but I still don't think John Carpenter should have won the lawsuit against that guy <laughs> for, like, quote-unquote copying him. Like, yeah, it's pretty close, but... Uh, 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 oh, boy, I almost got... That was... I almost... <laughs> we'll Wait, that. are you watching me? Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. <laughs> you just went... <laughs> It was pretty good. Who's left? I really wish Not they kept people in. around, even if they disconnected. All right, folks. I think this is going to do the last round. So let's see. Let's see where we land. Um, Saturday. Actually, actually, will you want to go ahead and start giving the outro, folks? Saturday, we are going to be playing some Arma. Not sure what we're doing. We're probably Dynamic Ops. But probably we'll Dynamic. Check it out. Um, we're going to play that uh, noon Eastern. That's 8 a.m. Connecticut for you folks. Then on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern, we are going to be playing Dragon, Waterdeep, Dragon Heist, D&D, &D, Dungeons & Dragons, Doodles, and Dob Dobs. We are going to be playing it. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's me. There's Karen. There's Ian. There's Josh. Maybe there'll be another person. I always ask. But we'll figure it out, folks. It'll be intense. I still haven't even read what we're going to do yet, but it's going to be like a little side adventure down Blue Alley, folks. It's going to be dangerous. Anyways, until then, you can find all of our content at subpixelfilms.com that brings you straight to our YouTube channel, folks. You can also find everything we've ever done on our Twitch for the last 14 days because it deletes after that. We are so close to affiliate I think we'll get there someday. Who knows? Ian, you're doing real great on here. Ah! Uh, you're like jiggling and it's, dancing. People are pushing me. 
You can find Ian Gibson at <laughs> Think Gibson on Twitter. Nobody wants you can to find do it. me at Hunt270 <laughs> on Twitter. You can find all of our stuff, subpixelfilms.com, like I said. Oh, no. oh, oh, no! no! <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! Fantastic! Come on! What an ending! Oh, I think I said everything. I'm excited, Ian. I made a note here on my little notepad that Mm -hmm. says MGS oil field and oil rig and underwater. It's gonna be really good. It says Armor Three. I'm very excited. Um. Yeah, so I'll send you some links. Um, Anime Girl, I'll also also put a link in the community Discord to the Afghan War Diaries, which is what I was talking about, where it's after action reports from from Afghanistan. Some good stuff there. That's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Will, thank you for joining us. Um, We didn't get our second crown, but you'll always be a king to me. Oh, thanks. Thanks, bud. Bye. Bye.